Jennifer and Mariah with Equal Partners Horsemanship and we're going to go over grooming. Ideally you should groom your horse two to three times a week and always before you play with your horse on the ground or ride. It's a great opportunity for you to check the condition of their coat, their hooves, and their hair while checking for injuries or abrasions. This is Moses and back over there is Zoe and you might see them make a appearance a time or two during our video. We're going to go over the brushes. These two brushes here are not always used but when they are they're used to remove mud and to assist with your horse in the shedding process. This here is the curry brush and is always used first. It is used in a circular motion against the direction of the hair. Then we're going to move on and we're going to clean the horse's hooves and brush their mane and tail. This time that we're doing this allows for the oils in your horse's skins to come up from the curing process. We're then going to follow through with the dandy brush or the body brush which has the stiff bristles in the direction of the hair. We're going to follow that through with the smooth brush, same direction of the hair. Then we're going to end by brushing our horse's face and cleaning their ears. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I would do if my horse was shedding or had a lot of mud on her. I'd like you to watch the placement of my hands. I'm going to say hello to my horse first with the horseman's handshake because we've been disconnected. I'm going to come in here and place my hand on her withers and then just take this and go in the direction of the hair. I can do her legs, her neck, but notice I have a hand on her at all times. I'm going to go, hello Miss Zoe, go around, I'm close, come around to the other side, represent my tool to see if she's interested, she's not. I'm going to go ahead and turn and face her hindquarters. And finish the process out on this side. That's Zeus. I'm next going to do the curry. Once again, I'll let her see it to see if she's interested in it. She's not, no worries. Hand on withers in a circular motion against the hair. Next, I'm going to clean out her hooves. I'm going to come and stand at her shoulder. I'm going to stand square in my body. I'm going to be facing her hindquarters. Hoof pick is in the opposite hand, the hand furthest away. The hand closest is going to go on the inside of her leg. I'm going to feel for her chestnut and I'm going to pinch as soft as possible, as firm as necessary. When she lifts her hoof, I'm going to catch it with the other hand and then I'm going to switch out. Notice how I hold the hoof pick. I'm going to come in here. This triangle is called the frog, and we want to clean out these grooves in here. And I'm going to go in, up, and out. In, up, and out. And I'm going to repeat the process in all, on all four feet. I'm going to gently replace her hoof. Take my hand from the withers. Take it down her back down her hindquarters and I'm going to squeeze this which is called her hop. She lifts her foot, I catch, transfer, in, up, out if there was something in it, in, up, out. And of course I'd clean anything in here if there was something. Notice I'm still pretty square, I don't have my feet here. I'm going to place her foot back, go to the other side and repeat the process. Switch out hands, turn face to the inside. That's the chestnut that I'm squeezing. Woo, that was close, wasn't it? 
transfer. Here I am. In, up, out. In, up, out. Repeat the process. Maybe pick that out. And replace her foot. Withers. Run your hand down her back. Down her hindquarters. Squeeze that hawk. Catch that foot. Make sure your foot feet are out of the way. The same thing if these were dirty. And replace it. I'm now going to go to the mane and the tail. Always want my horse to know my intentions. So I'm going to start at the withers and move my way up her neck. I'm going to place my hand and hold it a little bit so I don't end up pulling her hair. Notice my elbow is up and out of my way as I move up her neck. I'm going to bring this over. I like to brush my horse's manes to their left side. Some people don't care. Some people follow their breed standard or whatever kind of showing they do. I'm going to step in front of her and brush this part. I'm going to go to her tail, hand on withers, run my hand down her back, take her tail gently, pick it up, bring it over, and place it on my thigh. I'm going to start at the bottom. Work my way up. And of course, if I have a horse that I am confident with and that I know is comfortable with me being back here, I can come back in here and do this. Just have a lot of awareness when you are in the horse's kick zone. Now I'm going to take the body brush or dandy brush and simply go in the direction of her hair. I always like to start at the withers. It's a friendly place for the horse. If you ever notice horses out in the pasture will sit there and lick and chew on each other's withers. That's them telling each other they like each other. And notice how I'm flicking my brush to help get the hair and the dirt out. Going in the direction of the hair. have to start on that side. Notice I've done my best to keep my feet out from underneath her. Always got another hand on her. That was just for the fun of it. Now I'm going to do her face and her ears. Let her see it. Simply go in the direction of the hair. And why I did not curry her face, you can curry a good horse's face. She has had it done many times. Sometimes I like to clean these little nostrils out here. You can also use a sponge or a cloth to do it. I love these little brushes because they get in the ears. next time, stay safe and have fun.
And remember, horsemanship is nothing but good habits and skills. Good habits and skills in both horses and in life are nothing but determination and practice.